Joe, Len, thanks so much for joining us. How was the parade, Len? Oh, it was great. A lot of kids getting candy, having fun. It was fantastic. Well, I know Joe likes to have some fun. So uh, did you have fun out there, Joe? I had a blast. It's it's so refreshing to see all the families out there and the little kids and the grandparents. Oh, my God. And Slider. Whoa. I don't know where that mouse been. Oh, my goodness. Well, look. We, uh, we've got some craziness going on at Fairview Park here, so whatever happens in this interview, I apologize right now. But look, how nice is it just to be out in the community? What is it like for you with all the Cleveland fans around? I mean, these are some of the best fans in the country. Uh, the best fans in the country. We've I've been here since uh, 25 years. The people are great. To, to, to see the kids out here having fun, getting candy, and all their parents and all that enjoying it, it's, it's great. That's why I live in Cleveland. That's why? Yeah. What about what about for you, Joe? Yes, it is. I, you know, I've stayed here. I raised my kids here. My daughter was born here. I have six grandkids that were all born here. I couldn't think of a better place uh, in the United States to raise a family. I picked Cleveland for a reason, and this shows it. Uh, families come out here. You have family days out here. Everybody comes out and participates, and the parade's a great way to kick it off, especially with slider, mustard, ketchup, and onion. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, Joe, look, while you're uh, kissing the mascots yeah. over here, look, you were the Rookie of the Year back in 1980, and look, the Guardians, they've got someone in Stephen Kwan who, who looking pretty good. What have been your impressions? Do you think he could take it? Yes, I've been following him. You know, he started out real hot, went down a little bit. I was waiting for him to come up. What you do as a rookie, sometimes it takes you a little longer to bounce back your rookie year. He's bounced back. I, um, I love him on the base paths. I, he's fast. He's exciting in the outfield, and he's hitting the ball, and he's hitting it the other way. I'd love to see him win rookie of the year. Uh, after me, it was Alomar. Before me, it was Herb or Chambliss. Then Herb score. We'd love to have another one in the rookie of the year family. Gotta love the support. Well, Len, it's look, per perfect game. What does it get? The rookie of the year. Ray there it is. Say. There it is. Yes. Showing it off. Len, look, I mean, perfect game back in 1981, still last no-hitter in Cleveland history. In the books is your name. When, you, when you're looking at the prospects out there right now, do you think that there's someone out there potentially throw a no-hitter? Well, I think there's a lot of guys on the Indians that could possibly do it. They've been real close. I, I hope one of them does it. Everybody asked me that. I said, do you want them to do it? I said, of course I do. That's great for the, uh, yeah. the, the tribe, uh, the Guardians to do that and uh, to see the young kids, the way they pitch. I think somebody's going to do it eventually. Hopefully I'm alive when it happens. Hey, Shane Bieber is back in the lineup tonight. What have your impressions been of Shane? Shane's a phenomenal pitcher. He's, he's struggled lately because of his uh, injuries and all that, but he's, hopefully he comes back strong and he, uh, the, the uh, Guardians can uh, come on and win and then go to the playoffs and win the World Series. That's what it's all about. Well, Joe, i got to get your impressions, too, of Shane Bieber coming back. Oh, he's a, he's a professional. He's a pitcher. He knows how to go about his business, how to rehab. They wouldn't let him in there unless he was ready. His arm was prepared. Uh, I love watching him pitch. I mean, kind of the high point of his career was the All-Star game when he won MVP, but he's got a lot of career left. And uh, I, I just love every time he pitches. I try to guess how many guys he's going to strike. I was like when Lenny pitched. I was in left field. Is he going to strike 8, 10, 12 out today? Because he did lead the American League in strikeouts twice, two years in a row, wasn't it? Yep. So I always used to love watch when he, uh, Lenny pitched from the outfield and strike guys out.